Okay, welcome back, guys. So, I'm here going to talk about another mechanic in the game that isn't really well explained, but I've actually been requested to talk about this one a little bit. And it is about affinity. Um, and So, what that is, is that's how much your NPCs actually like you. And this affects your beloved. Um, now, I'm not going to give away too many spoilers, but your beloved um, is locked in at a certain point in the quest. And I'm going to talk about that here later. It's during the quest Deny Salvation. Um, now, affinity is basically you can gift items to NPCs. Any NPC in the game can become your beloved. And I mean any. Um, there are only two exceptions. Well, three technically. You cannot, of course, um, have any pawns as your beloved. Um, you also cannot have the Duke and the Dragon Forge. This is the only exception. Other than that, it doesn't matter who it is. I could make this random person right here. What's the point? Who, oh, he has a name. Cool. Everyone has a name, though. But I can make that random person. I didn't even know who he was, and I can make him my beloved. Um, the way you do this is by gifting people items. Now, different NPCs like different items. So it's very convenient to know which ones they like. Um, for example, now I'm going to show you when you get them a little bit higher affinity, things will start to happen. So, for example, I'm going to talk to Madeline here. Yes, well, enough idle chatter. You'll find no thank you. I'm going to do it again here without me talking. A girl must so hopefully you heard that little can. chime there. Don't she actually gave off a chime, which signifies she has a decent amount of affinity for me. You can also see her cheeks are a little bit flushed. They're blushing a little bit. Those are things they've given. Now I'm actually going to show um, the present giving. And I'm actually going to give her a present called the Arisen's Bond. Um, this item, perm well not permanently, let's just say this item automatically maxes affinity for any character you give it to. doesn't matter who it is. It'll map their finish. So watch what happens when I give her this. This is for me. All of a sudden, you see that pink glow around Can her? I, I am special to you. I, I don't know what to say. But yeah, so go get that pink glow around them. And that is, now if I talk to her, you'll see that pink glow constantly. You'll find, thank you very much. That signifies that their affinity is max or almost max. Now, it's a pretty simple mechanic. Um, the Risen Bond is the easiest way to do it. Um, now, also, you can have multiple characters that have a max affinity. This is when it becomes a kind of jank. So, your beloved is locked in in the quest Deny Salvation. It, near the end of the quest, that when you enter Deny Salvation, you'll actually be called by the Duke to go to the Great Wall. Once you go into the Great Wall encampment, that's when it's locked in. It's I don't know if it's exactly as soon as you enter, but it's shortly after a little bit in that quest that that choice is locked in. Now, in order to ensure you get the person you want, if you have multiple people of maximum affinity, it's the person you last talked to with the highest affinity. Your best bet, if you want to ensure it, is right before you do that quest, or is you know give whoever you want to be the your beloved the Arisen's Bond or something max them out. This becomes a little bit difficult with NPCs. For example, Madeline has a quest where she disappears that you can do before, well, you have to do before the dragon, but you can do before the Great Wall encampment. Um, so it's beneficial to have her max beforehand. Um, for example, Kina from your home village disappears after her quest lines for long. She it goes off the way. Renard does the same thing. So some of these NPCs, you've got to be careful with your window. And you, it's kind of janky. I know of a lot of people have gotten weird ones. They've gotten... Pornival, um, Pornival's daughter, they've gone random people. I've even seen, um, luckily, with if you're playing the re-release or you're playing Dark Arisen even, um, they fixed the glitch in the original games, talking to NPCs increased it a lot more. So NPCs like, for example, Caxton at the Armory or Absalon at the Inn had a really good potential to be a high affinity. And let's just say when Absalon's your beloved and, well... I'll just say this, after the event unfold, your beloved isn't in their normal spot. So when Absalom no longer runs the inn, it makes things very difficult. Um, so they fixed that in Dark Arisen, it doesn't do that anymore. But you can still pick anybody, I, I could pick Absalom if I really want him to, to be my beloved. I don't recommend it, it makes things difficult, but you can do it. Uh, there is a benefit to doing it for some people, so for example, as I said, Renard leaves. Um, if you make them your beloved, they actually get brought back and they are become a static NPC at your home. And so this makes Renard, who's a traveling salesman and also can leave entirely if you complete his quest line, now be in one place all the time. It'd be beneficial. 
Um, now, it's a like I said, it's a little janky, but when you go to that quest, Deny Salvation, the last NPC, so for example, I just talked to Madeline, I max had her, her affinity with the Risen Fawn. If I walk over and do Deny Salvation, if I could right now, she would be locked in as my beloved. And a good way to tell if this worked is if it works, if the r person you gave the ring to is your beloved, there'll actually be a cutscene where you'll find the ring. Um, so it's a way to know for sure if it works if you give them the ring. If you don't give them the ring, there's no way to know until afterwards when you progress through the story. Now, there, as I said, there can be multiple characters who have max affinity. So, for example, I have max affinity with Sir Max Millen up here. I gave him an Arisen's Bond a little while ago. Um, I want to change some of his dialogue. If I talk to him, he does the Not same thing. He's got that glow. He's got the chime and the blushing cheeks. So, you can have multiple this things. Way. you got to keep in mind it's who you talk to last. A lot of people I've seen are confused on that, and they don't realize, why did I get this NPC as my beloved? I didn't want Hornival as my beloved, or Simone, or Selene. Um, there's a lot of them that are really common. Um, another way to get their affinity really high is through quests. Madeline is very easy. If you give her money at all the opportunities, if you give complete her quest line, you give her back her daggers in her quest line, she's almost guaranteed to be max affinity. Um, Renard gets really high affinity if you complete his quest line. Tina's quest line almost it definitely maxes her affinity. Eleanor's um, quest line maxes her affinity for sure. Actually, I recommend not doing her final quest so after yeah. Deny Salvation if you don't want her to be your beloved because it's so easy to get her locked in. Um, now, I'm also going to show you something else. So there is a way to lower affinity. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. One way is the simple way is to just walk up to them. And you can pick them up, some carry them sometimes, but the easiest thing to do is draw your weapon from them. I'll use it real simple here with Jasper, but watch this. So, he starts recoiling a little bit. If you do this enough, that affinity will go away. Um, it'll get reset back to neutral, essentially. Now, you don't want to actually hit them, because if you're in Grand Sword, the guards will throw you in jail. But you can do that to reset it. So, for example, um, I have Sir Maximilian and Madeline as my max, but I don't want Madeline. I want Sir Maximilian. So what I do is I go up to Madeline and I can do the sword glitch and lower her affinity. Or I can actually give her another item. This is something that came out in Bitter Black Isle. Um, you can buy them at some point at, from Barrack and you can also just find them for novelties. Um, I believe I have one here somewhere. I can just find one. Right here. Liquid eff effluvium. I probably pronounced that terrible, but... I'm not here to do grammar and pronunciation guides. But this item, basically giving it, gifting it to anybody immediately puts their affinity back to zero. It resets it to neutral. Um, so if you ever get to the point where you're like, why is this person really like me? I don't want to risk them being my beloved. Give them the liquid affilium. They'll immediately not give a shit about you. Um, but... It's a pretty simple mechanic, but the game does very little to explain it. Um, there's actually no explanation whatsoever other than the telltale signs, the chimes, and stuff like that. So pay attention to that. If you want a specific person as your beloved, you know, make sure they're the last person you talk to before doing that. At least the last person of high affinity. So for example, like I said, Madeline leaves. If I talk to her and then I go and talk to Sir Maximilian, I'm like, shit, I don't want Sir Maximilian. That's when I would give him the liquid affilium. Because even if I talk to him, if I lower his affinity when I do that quest, he is no longer the highest affinity that I last talked to. So, I hope you guys found this support. I hope this allows some of you to avoid those awkward situations where, why do I have this person as my beloved? This is weird. Um, because the game will literally let you get anybody, anyone, doesn't matter your gender, doesn't matter, you can make your character look like an 80-year-old man and you can get... Simone, who's like maybe 12. Um, yes, it's awkward, but I mean, it happens. So, in order to avoid that, I want to make this guide and help you guys maybe find some different ways around it and understand the affinity system. So, if you guys like this um, guide here, yeah, check out some of my other videos. Give me a like. Give me some feedback. If you think there's something I can improve on, I'm always open to it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this might help a few of you. Um, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one, guys.